Hello, Kid Governor students. I'm Denise Merrill, Secretary of the State of Connecticut, and I am thrilled to be here to talk to you today about voting and elections. As Secretary of the State, part of my job is to oversee elections in Connecticut. And that's something I wanna teach you about today because this will be important for the rest of your lives because I'm hoping all of you will learn how to register and vote in every election. So first of all, let's talk about how do you get elected to begin with? You know, as Secretary of State, I intersect with a lot of people who are running for office. And there's lots of different offices. We have elections separately for president, of course, and that's one kind of election, a national election. But then we also have elections for governor, for example. Uh, governor, Secretary of State, I'm elected, uh, uh, the Attorney General, the Comptroller. So those are statewide elections and they happen in a different year. And then you have local elections, which are all about people who are elected in your town. And those are sometimes the most important elections because those are people you can know and get to know right in your own town. So first of all, how do you register to vote? Well, anybody who is 18 years old and a citizen of the United States is eligible to vote. You can actually pre-register to vote if you're gonna be 18 by the time elections come around. So you can pre-register in Connecticut when you're 17 and a half. So that's not that long away. Um, once you're 18 and a citizen, you can go down to your local town registrar of voters. Every town has two registrars and you can go down and register there in your actual town. Um, and you need to bring some kind of ID to show who you are. So by that time, you might have a social security card, you might have a driver's license, you can bring anything you want, a birth certificate, but something to show that you are the person who is registering to vote. In Connecticut, you can also do it online, of course, because we're very modern here now. So if you have a driver's license, you can get your registration to vote right at the DMV, the Department of Motor Vehicles, when you get your driver's license, if you're 18. Those are the ways you register in Connecticut. And we've tried to make it as easy as possible because the important thing about voting is that we want everyone to vote. The important thing in a democracy is that everyone have a voice and your vote is your voice. So we hope that every single one of you will get out and vote when the time comes. Now, here's how you actually vote. See now, assuming you're registered now, every town, has elections. And in Connecticut, that's where you vote, in your own town, wherever you live at the time. If you're off in college, you can vote right at the college frequently. So to go down to vote in Connecticut, we vote on Tuesday in November, the first Tuesday in November. So that, that's a different time, a different date every year. Um, and then what you do is you go down in person and you have to be on the list because if you registered to vote, you will be on that voter list. You go down to your polling place and there's lots of them in each town and you will be assigned to a specific polling place. So you go to that polling place. A lot of times they're in schools um, or town halls, but a lot of them are in your, your own school usually. And you can see that on election day. I'm sure in some of your schools, your schools are used as polling places. When you go there, they check you off the list they give you a ballot and you vote for the persons of your choice. And there's all kinds of different elections. So it's up to you as a citizen to find out about what people think about when they're running for office. You need to know what their platform is. And hopefully you're gonna learn about some of this through the Kid Governor program. How do you form a platform? How do you explain what it is you want to do in that office? Uh, so try to find that out about the people who are running. And then it's really simple. You just check off the boxes of who you want to run, uh, elect, and then they, tell, they help you put it in a scanner. And it just scans your ballot, and off you go. And in Connecticut, you get a little sticker that says, I voted. And people are very proud of those stickers, which I'm happy to see. So that's about it. It's, it's really not a hard thing to do, but it is terribly, terribly important that every citizen in this country vote in every election because we want everyone at the table. And if there's enough of you that think a certain way about a certain candidate, that's the person who gets elected. You have to get 51% of the vote to get elected in, in the United States. So that means a majority, more than 50%. And then you're in. 
I hope some of you will run for office one of these days, but I certainly think you ought to all be voters as soon as possible. So thanks very much and have fun with the Kid Governor program.